Hi, today I'm going to talk about networking and also I'm going to talk about uh, two different methods that you can get two PLCs to talk with each other. One of these methods is global data. Actually for global data you can have more than two PLCs to talk with each other. Um, and another method called IO scanning. We use two methods. So now here I have the PLC boss and you can see the configuration. This configuration is exactly the configuration that we have um, at the WinTech. And now we wanted to do some setting and see what we can do. The first thing that we need to do is to set our network card. So for the network card, actually I have two options. One option is using this new NOI card and another one is setting of the Ethernet card. I always start with this card. So what should I do? Okay, I should choose Ethernet and after that link it but one network but since I have no network here so I don't have any link here so I need to make one network first so start a new network and a network is Ethernet and we can call it Ethernet 1 or anything else we want so Ethernet 1 okay so after Ethernet 1 is okay you can see Ethernet 1 is generated but it is not connected. But what we can do here, we can come back to the configuration and now we can link our network with the link our hardware with the network. After doing any work, we need to push this button and validate that. And maybe it is a good idea to try analyzing the work as well. Analyzing the work provides you an opportunity to see problems. So what happening? If there is a problem, you can fix it straight away after doing the work and you don't need to wait for a long time. So now our network is okay. We can click here and we can do the setup for our network. First of all, one IP as required. So let me set the IP address, the IP address that right now I have for my PLC. It is 192.168.1.29. I'll leave the subnet the way it is, and I'll leave the gateway the way it is, and leaving the gateway the way it is, make this PLC to be the gateway for itself. Okay, now I'm going to again say OK and since I want to use two services one service is IO scanning and another service is global data I should change this no to yes to yes okay after doing that the next stage is to make some global data so to make a global data I can go to my variable and make one variable here uh, any variable you want to generate you should do it here but now since we just wanted to talk about global data we make the variable right there so let's make one variable called plc1 water level let's say we have the water level and this PLC is getting information for the water level it is an integer and we can have the addressing and other stuff but now we leave them and let's say we're getting something from PLC 2 and that one is water temperature okay again is integer so let's say the PLC that now we are using is PLC 1 and the PLC somewhere else 
that this PLC is another PLC located somewhere else. Now, what we have to do, if you want to use global data, we need to do some settings and we need to make sure they are global. To do, to make one variable to be a global data, we need to right click on that variable and go to the data property and change it. You can see that global is no. Now you can change it to either publisher or subscriber. So now if it is publisher, so this guy is going to publish. After you make one variable to be the publisher, then you need to provide two information. One information is the group and another information is the ID. So ID is number of the variable. You can have up to 64 different variables. So psi, this variable is variable one. Now, you need to also have the group. So where to find the group? To find the group, we need to go back to our Ethernet, go back to global data, and now you can see that there is a group name here. So let's call it variables, vars. Okay, you can select any name. Then this is the name here, and this is the name that can be here, vars. Okay, so we don't with the first one and we can analyze that and see if there is problem there is a problem here or not so now let's say somebody or you have done exactly the same thing with another plc and that plc is exactly have the same setting over there because you should make sure the setting is are exactly the same but what happening you should make sure that the other variable has a different address. So that variable is PLC2 water temperature. So this variable is coming from another PLC. So we're not publishing this information. We are subscribing this information. So what we have to do, obviously, we need to change global data to subscriber yes and then group going to be exactly the same group was bars and id going to be two because one have been used and obviously on a host plc we need to exactly use the same id so now you can have that so say we're writing one program and we want to use them we can actually use these two variables exactly the same way using any other variable for example let's write down one structured text program called for example global verse this name is just a name so you can pick up any other name so now for example, we can say PLC1 water level equals, for example, 100. Yes, look like that the name is not correct. You should make sure the name spelling is correct so if you are not so sure what is it you can go to data selection and you can cancel that and here you can click on data selection click here and then you're gonna have your variables so plc1 water level that's the way 
that it was PLC1 water level equals 100 and then we are getting the other one so for example we can have another variable water temp this variable is not exist but I can make it equals data selection water temperature water temperature and this variable as I said if the variable is not exist what you can do you can make it here in your elementary variables and obviously it is an integer so now we don't have the red light red light here so what you can see here we actually write on one variable and we read one variable PLC2 water level is read only variable why because it is coming from another PLC but we are publishing water PLC one water level so we can write here okay the next presentation we talk about iOS scanning but now we need to analyze the project and then set the address to the address that we have so PLC is 192.168.1.29 and method of communication is TCP IP okay and after that you need to build all project and then the next stage is to connect it and after connecting obviously you need to transfer project to PLC and let's run it after that okay and after that you are able to see information actually you can see that I'm running this in a simulation mode because I'm not in a network right now but if you are running it in in a different mode then you can in a uh, data mode then uh, if you have another PLC then you are able to see different things now if I want to see my variables I can import them this this and this and they are my variables as you can see PLC 1 water level is 100 because we said it is 100 PLC 2 water level is 0 because we actually don't have another PLC to communicate with this PLC so it is by default zero okay so that's how we could communicate and broadcast information from one PLC to another PLC